Hey Mavericks fans, NBA free agency gets going on Monday night, 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 Central time. And hey, every single time the Mavs make a move, we will talk about it here on this channel. So this is the time to get subscribed. You see the link below, it's youtube.com slash Mavs TV. Hit that big red button. Myself, Chase Sr., the entire chat sports team is fired up for NBA free agency, especially when it comes to your Mavericks. So go ahead and subscribe today. You're watching Dallas Mavericks today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham. The 2021 NBA draft is in the books. The Mavs did not have a selection, did not trade into the draft to get a pick. So, no draft picks to talk about, but they have signed three undrafted free agents. So, we'll talk a little bit about each one of them on today's video. Let's start with Carlick Jones out of Louisville, as ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski had this report that uh, the Mavs and Jones have agreed to a deal. Four year college player, which was a theme among the Mavericks UDFAs. Uh, uh, transferred to Louisville his senior year, played his first three seasons at small school Radford. Uh, volume score, put up some decent numbers last year for the Cardinals. Not the most efficient player, though. You look at the, uh, the numbers from this past season, almost 17 points per game, five rebounds. Can dish it a little bit, four and a half assists per game as well. Only 40% from the field, 32% from three-point range. So the efficiency is certainly going to have to uh, improve if he wants to have a chance to stick in the NBA. I get major Trey Burke vibes here. Undersized guard that's tenacious, though. Can get to the basket, good floater game, uh, but needs to be a bit more efficient player, which has been a problem for Burke at times in his career. But similar comp, similar size, 6'1", 185 is what Carlick Jones is listed at. But... He knows how to score. Uh, he worked his way up as a college player from small school up to the University of Louisville this past season. Improved a little bit every single year throughout college. Uh, he could have a chance uh, to stick around in the NBA. Probably more of a guy that will play on the Mavs G League team this year, the Texas Legends. Uh, speaking of free agency, name a player the Mavs should sign in free agency, uh, which gets going on Monday night. Let's hear it from you guys down in the comment section. Who do you want Dallas, Mark Cuban, Nico Harrison, Jason Kidd to focus on and sign an NBA free agency. Next up on our Mavericks UDFA tracker, undrafted free agents, Eugene Omorui out of Oregon uh, is next up here. I like this kid. Uh, they've agreed to a deal as well. Unclear on the terms for all these guys. Uh, usually they're non-guaranteed training camp invite types of deals. We do know that the next player we'll talk about uh, has guaranteed to get a camp invite. Uh, we'll see if Omorui ends up being one of those guys as well. Five-year college player, transferred to Oregon a couple of years ago, redshirted and then played his senior year this past year for the Ducks. I like his upside as a 3 and D prospect. Look at the shooting splits here. Average 17 points. He can rebound a little bit as well. 47% uh, from the field. I like that. 38% from three. That's pretty good as well for a player coming out of college. A lot of these guys are inefficient players uh, in the college ranks. He was not. He was very efficient for the Ducks this past season. I like this kid's upside. I think there's real potential here. I think maybe... He could be in play for a two-way contract if he shows out, uh, assuming he does get into training camp. Summer League will be uh, important for all of these uh, prospects that the Mavs have signed as UDFAs. But he can score. He can rebound. He can defend as well. 6'6", 230 pounds. He's got a nice NBA body there. I like the shooting stroke. I don't know, man. I think there's some real upside with this kid. He's older. He's 23, five-year college player, but so what? I don't think that's a big deal. His teammate Chris Duarte is 24, and he went in, in the lottery to former Mavericks head coach Rick Carlisle to the Indiana Pacers. So we'll see if this kid can stick. I think I may like him the best out of the three players the Mavericks have signed following the NBA draft. Speaking of which, did you watch this year's NBA draft? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Let me know uh, if you guys watch the NBA draft on Thursday night by giving me a Y for yes or an N for no. If you did watch the NBA draft, or if you didn't, you should have. You should have joined us live on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chat Sports TV. Myself and Chase Sr. were literally live for eight hours well before the draft, breaking down the Russell Westbrook trade. Geared you guys up for the draft. We broke down all 60 picks. Chat Sports was your home for the NBA draft, and we're going to be your home for NBA free agency, which starts on Monday night. We'll go live 
probably 5 o'clock Eastern time, an hour before free agency opens at 6 o'clock. Don't miss any of it. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. That is our main ChatSports YouTube channel. We will cover all of the major NBA free agency news and rumors uh, throughout next week. One more player to go on the Mavericks UDFA tracker, EJ Onu out of Shawnee State in NAIA school. So obviously lesser competition here, but I like this kid as well, actually. Uh, threw on a couple of highlight tapes I was able to find uh, on this guy. The Mavs and Onu have agreed to a camp deal, so he does get a training camp invite. We'll see on the other two guys. Four-year player at Shawnee State. Real upside is a floor spacer. Guys, he's 6'11", and he can shoot the rock. His three-point shooting jumped from like 29% to 40% from his junior to senior season. That, that shows me he's put in the work to really work on that J. And if you can space the floor as a big and shoot 40% from three, like this kid did this past year, I get it. The competition wasn't the same, but maybe this is a guy you plant in the G League for a couple of years and he develops into something down the line. 6'11", 230, averaged 17 points per game last year, seven boards, four and a half blocks per game. Again, the competition not quite up to par as what a Carlick Jones, for example, is playing uh, in the uh, in the ACC at Louisville, but these splits are impressive. He's got a nice NBA body. I don't know. I think that uh, there's some real potential with a couple of these guys. Uh, and hey, the Mavericks got a new regime, new coaching staff, new front office. Uh, opportunities are going to be rampant, and uh, it's up to these guys to take advantage of them, especially when you're in UDFA. You're overlooked. No one expects you to be anything, but hey, you get an opportunity now that you've signed with the Dallas Mavericks. So these are the three guys. Who do you guys believe is the best UDFA signing? Type uh, CJ for Carlick Jones out of Louisville. Type EO for Eugene Omarui out of Oregon. Or you can type EJ for EJ Onu. Get your votes in. Who do you guys believe was the best Mavs UDF signing at least so far? So obviously the Mavs, the quiet draft, no draft pick, couple of UDFA signings that we just broke down. And really now it comes down to uh, free agency. That is going to be the focus uh, as we shift from uh, draft season to free agency very quick. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday will pass. There are sure there will be rumors all weekend long and then come Monday uh, we'll break down all the moves that happen uh, in free agency once it opens at five o'clock central time real quick to recap the Mavericks UDFA moves Carlick Jones out of Louisville the undersized guard 6'1 185 you got Eugene Omarui out of Oregon uh, 6'6 230 I like his 3 and D upside and then EJ Onu out of small school Shawnee State 6'11", 230, can space the floor, can really shoot it as well. Those are the UDFA signings. Now we move forward to free agency, which gets going on Monday night, which is why this is the time to subscribe to Dallas Mavericks today because we know how critical of an offseason it is for your Dallas Mavericks. And, hey, clock's ticking. I can't wait. Free agency is almost here. We'll see what this uh, new regime does. And uh, don't miss any of it. Subscribe, youtube.com slash MavsTV.